Cass, Patrick, Ruby, Lisa, Claire, Preston. Oh, why didn't I make a sound? There you go. I love that sound so much. <laughs> just, just keep in mind, if you hear that sound a lot, even though it's annoying, it it's means a good you're thing. with it. Yes. Okay. Everybody ready? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, these are questions we worked out that nobody can answer. Not too bad. All right, we start with a math class on five pointer, and it involves com uh, computation. Sort of. If each of the base angles in a triangle is 35 degrees, what is the measure of the vertex angle in degrees? You have five seconds. Russell. 110. 110 is correct. Ooh. <laughs> right up here to a In 1998, the editorial board of Modern Library voted it the best American novel of the 20th century. Set in the fictional town of West Egg, it tells. Greg Gatsby. Greg Gatsby is correct, Claire. Captain Kirk, actually. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Employed by the Dutch East India Company, he sailed to the New World in 1609, commanding the Half Moon. Who was this Englishman who explored the river and bay later named for him, giving the Netherlands a claim to the city they named New Amsterdam? Henry Hudson. Henry Hudson is correct. Please speak up, I have old ears. Okay. One type of this class of macromolecule obtains a five prime cap and a poly A tail after its synthesis. Another type breeds an anticodon that is complementary to the codon of the other, which is made via transcription. What are these nucleic acids containing uracils, which come in transfer and messenger types? RNA. RNA is correct. <coughs> Let's wait until Claire can actually breathe. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> she, she just wanted to let everyone else have a chance to play after getting through it. Okay. It's generally defined as a young, college-educated person who has a career that pays well and, and who lives and works in or near a large city. What is this term first used in the early 1980s, drawn from the acronym for Young Urban Professional? It's called time, the answer is yuppie. <laughs> it existed from 1967 to 1976, starting with 11 teams. In 1976, the New York Nets, Denver Nuggets, Indiana Pacers, and San Antonio Spurs joined the NBA when what league was merged into it? Claire. Uh, the American Basketball League. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, the ABL. I'm sorry, no. Can you take it, Sneakers? <laughs> ABA. Got it, got it, buzz in. The yes, ABA. Patrick? The ABA. The ABA, yes, the American Basketball Association. <laughs> she said it eventually. I guess I did. This law can be replaced by the related and somewhat more accurate Van der Waals law. What law, a combination of Guy Lussac's, Boyle's, and Charles's law, can be stated PV equals MRT? Denim. Combined gas law. Sorry, no. Can you take it? Only on it. It's the ideal gas law. <laughs> In 1920, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Laos were listed as Indochina on maps. Those four sovereign nations today were protectorates of what European country? Trust me. England. Not England. Can you take it, Sinevis? Down. France. They were protectors of France, yes. 
So again, the first round score is 10 to 20 in favor of Oneonta. And that means that you'll have first go at the in the answer option. And I'll read the answer option right for now unless you're going to substitute. Are there any substitutions? There's, there's one actually out the back, but you kind of have to go through the door and to the right. Whichever, whichever one's <laughs> you Here's the answer option question. If you consider the disputed territory of Kosovo as part of Serbia, Serbia shares borders with eight other European nations. How many of those neighbors can you name? Time to think about it. Davis, your opening bid, please. Start with one. They'll start with one. We go two. Two. They'll go two. We go three. Uh, yeah. They'll go three. We go four. No. Uh, we'll go. No, no. Not no. four. Not. You'll go not four. Not okay. four. In other words, yes. Okay. No. So give me three, Davis, for forty points. Uh, Russia. Sorry. Ah. Uh, yeah. Give me one for twenty points. Well, I'll tell you what, Skinnevis, you get another chance for 15 points. Let's start the one. Um, Albania? Albania? Yeah. Albania? You border on the Adriatic? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so 15 points for Skinnevis. Could you name all the other ones, please? Yeah, I will. Hungary, Romania. Bulgaria, Macedonia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, and the one they got, Albania. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say Ireland. <laughs> so that is 15 points for Steve. This brings it to 25 to 20. And we are ready to move into toss up bonuses. Do we have any substitutions? Okay. <laughs> First bonus is in the category eye diseases. Yay for eye diseases. And here's the toss up. The square of the current is proportional to the energy held by these devices. Their characteristic measure can be increased by inserting a metal bar in the middle of these components. Name these devices, which include solenoids and toroids, and are represented in circuit diagrams by a coil. Yes. Metalloids. Sorry, no. Can you take it, Skinnevis? Uh-huh. You have to buzz in just the same as... Back it. Lamp? No, inductors. Uh-huh. In German, Spanish, and French, the verbs Sikheisen, Jamarse, and Sapale are used to tell someone else your name. What's the literal translation of these three reflections? To call. To call myself. Call oneself, I'll accept to call myself, yes. Here's your bonus in the category eye diseases. <laughs> the open angle form of this disease develops slowly and is the most common. What is this eye disease caused by high intraocular pressure, which can lead to blindness? Pink guy. Pink guy. I'm sorry, no, glaucoma. <laughs> Glaucoma is the most frequent cause of blindness in this group of people in the U.S. where they make up a little more than 10% of the population. What group of people, unfortunately, also has higher than average rates of diabetes, hypertension, and sickle cell anemia? The obese? The obese? Or I'm sorry, no. African Americans. A patient is no, 
is asked to note irregularities in the lines on an Amsler grid in a test for what other eye disease named for an area of the retina that contains a depression called the phobia. Glaucoma. <laughs> Not glaucoma, but macular degeneration. Overall, glaucoma is the second leading cause of blindness after what clouding of the lens in which clumps of protein are deposited in the lens. The answer is cataracts. All right, playing for a bonus in the category Green <coughs> Theater, everyone's favorite. Oh, you sure? Oh, yes. Here's the toss up. Ronald Reagan called it trickle-down economics, saying that lowering taxes on the rich results in more and better paying jobs for the non-rich. It's actually a macroeconomic theory that calls for lower, lower marginal tax rates and less government regulation. <coughs> what is this theory named for one of the two concepts that determine price in a market? Free market. I'm sorry, no? Can you take it on the other? Please be No. Supply side economics. Okay. Still playing for that bonus in the category ancient Greek theater, which everyone wants. His theorem says that the power set of A has a greater cardinality than A. The fractal nature of him is created by taking the closed interval 0, 1 and repeatedly deleting open middle thirds who was this mathematician whose second proof of the uncountability of the real numbers used his namesake diagonal? Uh, Fermat's last theorem? Sorry, no. Can you take it from the audit? <coughs> the answer is Georg Cantor. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Still applying for that ancient Greek theater course. Yes. A theater question. Fleeing the duchy, where her uncle has usurped her father's place, Rosalind arrives at the forest of Arden with her best friend Celia. Orlando and Rosalind, Oliver and Celia, love-struck shepherds Silvius and Phoebe, as well as Touchstone the Jester and Audrey, all marry in the end in what Shakespeare comedy that contains the all the world's a stage monologue. Time, the answer is as you like it. <coughs> Still playing for that bonus. This toss up. She was a nymph and a favorite of Diana, but when Diana sought to discover her husband being unfaithful to her with the nymphs, she delayed Diana with small talk until the nymphs could escape. An enraged Diana sentenced her to never again be able to initiate conversation, but always have the last word. After a failed romance with Narcissus, who turned to rock, always repeating the last words spoken to her? <coughs> Ruby. Echo? Echo is correct, Ruby. Thanks, Ruby. Here's your ancient Greek theater bonus that you were all eager to Ooh. answer. <laughs> the maximum number of actors used by playwrights in classical Greek tragedies was what? The answer is three. Until the Hellenistic period, all Greek tragedies were written in honor of what Greek god? The god of wine, fertility, religious ecstasy, and theater. Dionysus. Dionysus is correct. He's credited with adding the third actor, thereby diminishing the importance of the chorus, who was this author of Oedipus Rex. Socrates is correct. And finally, the chorus of the frogs engages in debate with the main character, Dionysus. The Frogs is a satirical comedy by what author? Sophocles? I'm sorry, not Sophocles, but Aristophanes. <laughs> Well,
playing for a bonus now in World War II. Here's the toss-up. It's one of the two U.S. states whose last letter is an unpronounced S. It is home to both the Wachita and Ozark Mountains and contains the only... Arkansas. Arkansas is what we're looking for. <coughs> Okay, here's your bonus from World War II. Best known for his North African campaign, what German field marshal was known as the Desert Fox. It's the it's oh, bonus. Uh, Erwin Rommel. Rommel is correct for five. The Allied invasion of Normandy took place on June 6th of what year? 1944. That's correct. Who was in charge of the German defenses of Normandy? Okay, we'll call time. Trick question, Erwin Rommel. Ah. And finally, how did Rommel die? Poison? Let's give me more specific here. Uh, suicide. Yeah, Hitler forced him to commit suicide. So, we got 15. My goodness. He said, smile. Central America, the category of the next bonus. Here's your toss-up. She earned her law degree in 1995. She began a second career as a journalist in 2003, working first for an ABC affiliate for a year, and then moving to Fox News Channel, where she currently anchors a highly rated primetime show. Name this woman alleged by Donald Trump to have treated him unfairly. Megan Kelly. Megan Kelly is correct. <laughs> Here's your bonus in Central America, Omiata. What country has no standing army, ranks first in the Americas in the Environmental Performance Index, and has a literacy rate of 96.3%? Costa Rica. Costa Rica is correct. Name either of the countries of Central America that don't have coastlines on both the Caribbean and the Pacific. <laughs> either of the countries that don't have coastlines on both. Yes, both. Captain? Costa Rica, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Costa Rica has a boat coastlines. Uh, Belize and El Salvador, the two that don't have coastlines on both. One of the poorest countries of the Western Hemisphere, it, it has the highest murder rate in the world. What is this nation whose capital is Tegucigalpa? I just wanted to say Tegucigalpa. The answer is Honduras. Finally, it has the second largest economy in the region and the fastest growing in this country, which seceded from Colombia in 1903. That is Panama. <laughs> it's it's because America decided that they see it. Okay, that brings us to the end of round three. What are the scores? I'm so excited to announce that the score, as far as I'm concerned, it's 70 to 50 in favor of only Claire, are you good? <laughs> are you okay? No, I think just Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, we have. <laughs> yes, go ahead and sub. Go ahead and see on the All right, while we're, while we're uh, getting ready for the category round, I will tell you the category round. No, no, he's totally good. Don't erase his name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The categories are these. Off, in quotation marks, which means all the answers will have off in them. 
on, means all units will have on in house and not exactly hardware. Now, since you've already played a not exactly category or your team has, you know that all of the answers will sound like items you find in a hardware store. The word, uh, the third one is called house. House. And I will tell you that uh, house is, here's the free read on house. Give the state each of these people represents in the House of Representatives. Yeah, I'm so glad you asked them for that. Yeah, I'm really glad. <laughs> you have first choice, Canevis. You're slightly behind. Uh, we'll do uh, not exactly hardware. Not exactly hardware. Good for you. You have the choice of the remaining off, on, or house. On. Off. On. on. It's close. You know, well, often off. Yeah. They're, they're close, yes. Okay, is everyone ready? Remember, you'll have five seconds after I finish reading your question to give me an answer. I'll take the answer from Adam. Is that right? Adam? Yeah, right. All the answers will sound like items you find in a hardware store. Ready? What's the old fashioned term for a kill in volleyball? Spike? Yes. A sailor does what in order to sail against the wind? Drive? No. What Jamaican sprinter is widely regarded as the fastest human ever? Usain Bolt. Bolt is right. Uh, what was World War II American General Anthony McAuliffe's one word reply to a German surrender ultimatum at the Battle of Bastogne? Time. What mark of punctuation surrounds parentheses? Brackets. Brackets, correct. What name is given an American football to an illegal block from the back below the waist? Chop. Block. No. What's another name based on both appearance and function for a ship's propeller? No. What's the most obvious way to win a wrestling match? Pen. Yeah, this is correct. <sighs> uh, what hard, horny tissue forms the tips of the beaks of geese, swans, and ducks? We'll call time. And finally, what office supply chain runs more than 2,000 stores worldwide from its Framingham, Massachusetts headquarters? Staples. Staples, that's correct. Yeah. Nice. So you got. Uh, uh, let me check here. You've got number one, number three, number five, I'm getting every other one. Number eight and number ten. So a total of fifty points. Chance to steal fifty on the You got three seconds because you've already heard these. A sailor does what in order to sail against the wind? Tack. Tack is correct. That's all I can guess. <laughs> what was a World War II American general Anthony McCall's one word reply to a German surrender ultimatum at the Battle of Estonia? The answer is nuts. <laughs> what name is given to American football in American football to an illegal block from the back below the waist? It's a clip. Oh, okay. What's another name based on both appearance and function for a ship's propeller? It's a screw. And finally, what hard, horny tissue forms the tips of the beaks of geese, swans, and ducks? <laughs> no. No. The answer is a nail. So you picked up 10 points. Chance now to do what you can with your own category on the <coughs> Pick on. Oh, we have a category. Yay. Sure, you do. You have a category. Don't forget, Skinny, you get a chance on second chance to pick up anything you don't do right. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. What three word phrase means getting better? 
No. What three word phrase means compliments of the management? On the house. Yes. Besides on the run, what three word phrase means on the run from the law? On the land is correct. Please speak up. <laughs> what kind of price is quoted for cattle being sold live? No. Oh, what two word phrase describes the next batter? On deck. On deck. <laughs> uh, what sporty three word phrase describes the person who's with it? We'll call time. What three word phrase describes a corrupt official who accepts bribes? Uh, what three word phrase is applied to people who can't make up their minds? On the fence is correct. What three word phrase from archery describes something that's exactly right? On the mark. On the mark is correct. What three word phrase describes a person in trouble with the boss? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to even touch that one. All right, you picked up uh, it's number two, number three, number number eight, and number nine. So that's chance to pick up some points here, Skinnyus. What three word phrase means getting better? Progress? No, on the mend. Remember, on oh. is the key word here. Okay. On the mend. Uh, what kind of price is quoted for cattle being sold live? On the hoof. Oh, yeah. What's 43 word phrase describes a person who's with it? On the ball. On the ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what three word phrase describes a corrupt official who accepts bribes? Uh, on the payroll? No, on the take. And finally, what three word phrase describes a person in trouble with the boss? Uh, on the bridge? No, on the carpet or on the spot. We on the spot. spot. <laughs> so each team picked up 60 points total, 50 on their own category and 10 on the other team's category. And so the score essentially has not changed terrifically much. It is. One thirty to one ten, so twenty points separating the two teams. <clears throat> that means it all comes down to the lovely last fifteen questions, each one of which is worth fifteen points. Okay, are you ready? One of two men to serve as U.S. president using a name other than his birth name, he was the third youngest president at 46. He was the first Democrat elected to two terms since FDR. Despite several scandals, his approval rating when he left office was the highest. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is correct for 15. What's his real name? Uh, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up. But it was... It was not Bill Clinton. I know, without Bill Clinton, no. All right. Um, okay. Daniel Hilbert's Grand Hotel Thought Experiment is an attempt to explore this mathematical concept. In biology, the Hardy Weinberg equilibrium assumes a population of this size. L'Hopital's rule is applied to indeterminate forms which can contain zero or what other quantity? Infinity. Infinity is correct, Adam. Okay. Well, I'll just have to do the math and be able to add 15 to your score. Yeah. All right. Born the same year as Johann Sebastian Bach and George Friedrich Handel, He's primarily known for his keyboard exercises and sonatas. 
who was this Baroque Italian composer who transitioned into, into the classical period while living the final 24 years of his life in Madrid, Spain. Vivaldi. Vivaldi's a good guess, but it's not correct. Can you take it, Skinny? Beethoven. <laughs> it was Domenico Scarlatti. And if you've never heard, if you've never heard his piano concerto, they're very tall. Okay. It has varieties known as complexometric, back, and seta potential. Quantitative analysis makes frequent use of this technique which has an end point when an indicator changes color, often about one drop after the equivalence point. What is this analytic technique used to determine the concentration of a substance? Litmus paper. Sorry, no. Can you take it, Oniana? Ruby. Chromatography. Titration. I knew it was like He's so bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, in the 1930s, he painted figures from mythology in a somewhat abstract style. In the 1940s, he developed a style of his own using blocks of color on vertical canvases. Who was this Russian-born artist, considered along with Jackson Pollock and Willem de Koning, one of the most famous post-World War II artists? Call time, the answer is Mark Rothko. Its territory is divided among three sovereign nations. Approximately 73% of its area belongs to Indonesia, about a quarter is part of Malaysia, and 1% of what third largest island in the world is the Sultanate of Brunei. Adam. Madagascar? Not Madagascar, can you take it on the other? Asia. It is Borneo. It's a verb that means to behave in a blustering, domineering manner, or to bully. What is this six-letter word drawn from the name of the greatest Trojan hero in the Trojan War? It is to Hector. Okay, awesome. Okay. Je ne sais pas means I don't know. What word, word replaces pa if you want to say, I don't know anymore? Uh, Sorry, no. Can you take it, Skinevis? Um, plus, plus. 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 Uh, no. Buzz in. Okay. Plus. Yes, two. You were right. <laughs> yes. Two. Just a two. Yeah, man. Okay, so that's question 26. And that makes the score. I, hate I, I don't want ties. No ties. I don't care who wins. No ties. You want a tie? No. Nah, you're one, they're, they're, it's 140 to 145 right now. See, it's, it's slightly behind. <coughs> All right. Okay. In the model organism Arabidopsis, these structures contain the only cells where slow channel L or SLACL is expressed. Their most prominent role involves a mechanism that uses PEP carboxylase, prevents photorespiration, and minimizes water loss, in which they only open at night. Stomates. That's correct. Oh, really? Okay. How many more questions are there? What? How many more questions are there? You're going to like this. this question, you're going to like this question. Most Americans knew nothing about this until the Columbian Exposition of 1893 in Chicago featured a display of equipment used to make it. A 43-year-old Pennsylvanian bought all the equipment and started a company bearing his name in a central Pennsylvania town to make what sweet treat, especially bubblegum? I'll finish it, especially the milk variety. Chocolate? Chocolate is correct. Oh, that's right. Hershey. Yes, it was Hershey. <laughs> uh, hang on.
Question 29. He gave the longest speech of any president on Inauguration Day. It lasted. Lincoln. Not Lincoln. It lasted almost two hours in freezing temperatures. He was the oldest president inaugurated until Ronald Reagan took the oath of office, and despite being a military hero, caught pneumonia and died a month later. Who was the shortest serving president? Teacher. William Henry Harrison is correct. Objects similar to it include Nix and Hydra. It was discovered in 1978 when James Christie noted a periodic bulge in photographs of the body in orbits. The center of gravity of the system it's part of is not located within the body in orbits, which is the primary reason that orbited body is no longer considered a planet. What is this object? Pluto. I'll finish it. What is this object that orbits Pluto, named for the ferryman of the dead in Greek mythology? Oh, who's that face? Oh, the moon of Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, but not responsive. The answer is Carol. C H A R O. His early work was described as comedy with menace. His body of work, including the birthday party, the homecoming, and betrayal, earned him the 2005 Nobel Prize in Literature who was this British playwright, an actor, an anti-war activist, and pro-Palestinian, married to novelist Lady Antonia Fraser. There's a lot of descriptions. There's a lot of information there. But it doesn't appear to be helping. <laughs> the answer is Harold Pinter. Named for the indigenous tribe that lived on its shores, it could almost be considered an extension of Lake Michigan, since they're connected, and the two are at the same elevation. Unlike the other Great Lakes, it has no American cities of any size associated with it. Name this lake the third largest freshwater lake in the world. Onondaga? Onondaga? I'm sorry, no. Lake Ontario? No, it's Lake Huron. Uh, hmm. It's been described as the first battle fought entirely by air forces, generally considered to have taken place during 1940, beginning with an air and sea blockade of England in July. What was the name given to the five-month conflict between the Luftwaffe and the RAF? Yes, Adam. Uh, Battle of Great Britain? Sorry. Yes, Russ. The Battle of Scotland? The Battle of Britain. Not the battle. Oh. If it makes you feel any better, it wouldn't have won the game for you. But here we go. Final score, as, as I have it, is 155 175 in favor of Well played, though, both boys. Yeah.